Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your go-to destination for all things Apple. Today we'll be unboxing the new M3 MacBook Air. Let's get right into it. To kick things off, we have the brown box. Let's open this. We're immediately greeted with this nice minimalistic look. That's very expected from Apple. There we go. Nothing changed on the box from the M2. Everything looks exactly the same. Now this MacBook Air is the 15 inch size with the new M3 chip. This model has an eight core CPU and a 10 core GPU, eight gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD. Now let's open this box up. Two pull tabs. Flip this around. MacBook Air. That's a very nice color. I'm gonna set the computer aside for now so we can unbox the rest of the accessories. Let's just set it down over here. Here we have the MagSafe cable, which I really, really like how Apple color matches this cable to the actual computer itself. Very nice. This particular color is the midnight color, which does have a slight blue tint to it. Let me pull the computer back into the shot. And it also has the new coating on it that is supposed to help to reduce the amount of fingerprints that are visible on the computer. I really like it. Now, I really wish that Apple would color match the end of this cable and the power adapter, but they don't. So enough about this MagSafe power adapter and the color. Uh, once again, it is color match, really nice, except for the USB-C tip. Ah, just the rest of it please apple now we have just one more thing this power adapter is the 35 watt with dual usb-c you can also upgrade to the 70 watt usb-c power adapter and depending on which model macbook air you purchase it will either be a free upgrade or a 20 dollars upgrade no surprises inside the box all the usual stuff now let's see if we have stickers one of the things that we missed in the Apple Vision Pro was actual Apple stickers. Nice to see that they are still included with the MacBook Air and also color matched. Okay, so let's get back to the main event. This is the M3 MacBook Air. It has a 16 core neural engine. The screen itself is a 15.3 inch screen, which I am really happy that Apple finally offers a 15 inch screen on non-pro models. The M2 MacBook Air was the first Air with a 15 inch screen. Happy to see that Apple is going to keep this 15 inch size for the MacBook Air. So let's open it. We get greeted with that nice Apple sound. Look at that color. My goodness. Now, like I said, this is the midnight color, so it does have a blue tint. I think it comes through the camera very well. It's not a matte black or anything. It does have a very, very blue tint to it. It's a very elegant color. Now, talking about the M2 MacBook Air, externally, there's absolutely no changes that I know of. However, this M3 chip is what sets this computer apart. It has an eight core CPU and up to a 10 core GPU. This CPU performance being up to 35% faster and the GPU performance being up to 65% faster compared to an M1 MacBook Air. That's a massive boost in performance. If you happen to be upgrading from an Intel based MacBook Air, the difference in speed and power will be absolutely insane. It has 13 times faster performance. Now, this M3 MacBook Air can support two external monitors, 
which is great because the previous model can only do one. The only thing to keep in mind is that you will have to have the lid closed in order to run the two displays. If you need to run more than two displays, you will need to upgrade to a MacBook Pro. Most people will probably never have to run an external display, given that now this comes with a nice 15 inch size. This would be the computer that I would get my wife. She likes the bigger 15 inch screen, but doesn't need all the extra power of the MacBook Pro. I would honestly say that with how powerful these laptops are, 90% of people out there would not need to get a MacBook Pro now, especially with this 15 inch model. So who should consider upgrading to the M3 MacBook Air? If you're using an Intel based MacBook Air, the leap in performance is undeniable. And I would strongly recommend the switch. For M1 and M2 MacBook Air owners, the benefits might be less pronounced. Unless specific features like the dual external display support are essential to you, I cannot really recommend the upgrade. Now, like I mentioned, this particular computer has absolutely no changes from the previous M2 MacBook Air. It looks exactly the same. We still have the single headphone jack here, the dual USB-C ports, plus the MagSafe. Same bottom, same top, nothing different physically. Now this is my MacBook Pro. They essentially look pretty much the same other than this one is a lot thicker than the MacBook Air. We have a few differences here. Uh, the MacBook Air doesn't have an HDMI uh, slot, doesn't have a SD card slot, and it also doesn't have the third USB-C port there. Inside they look pretty much identical other than the fact that there's no speaker holes on the MacBook Air and there is on the MacBook Pro. Same thing design-wise that we had with the M2 MacBook Air. So one of the follow-up videos that I will be making is seeing if I could replace my M1 Max MacBook Pro with this new M3 MacBook Air. Now we are comparing apples and oranges, but there is a three year difference between these two computers. So it'd be interesting to see how this holds up with my video editing, uh, picture editing, all that good stuff. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. For more Apple insights, don't forget to check out maybe this video right here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.